Hello, I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Milwaukee Tools High Speed Ratchet. This is the quarter inch version, so stay tuned for that. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the new high speed ratchet to work. That way we can determine if the high speed ratchet is better for you versus the older version that has a little bit more torque than this model. And I'll explain all the features as we go, but we're gonna be doing a lot of repairs with this tool so you can see it in action and make the right decision for yourself and see if this is the one for you. The first thing we're gonna do is just briefly go over some specs on the tool and then we'll put it to use. So come with me. So the tool is available in tool only or in a kit form where you get two two amp hour batteries, the, the ratchet and a charger with a carrying bag. And if you already have batteries and chargers, you can get just the tool only. So on the right here, we have the original fuel uh, ratchet here. On the left is the new high speed version. There's not much difference of it. You can see the rubber grip and plastic grip goes up a little higher. The head size of the ratchet is slightly smaller and the overall length is a couple millimeters shorter. The overall length with the two hour amp battery is 11.1 inches coming in at 2.7 pounds with the two amp hour battery on it. It has a five year warranty on the tool and three year warranty on the batteries. The original one here spins up at 250 RPMs and the new high speed ratchet spins up at 450 RPMs, which is about an 80% increase in RPMs. They relocated the battery indicator to the back of the uh, new tool. On the old version, it was on the side. Uh, your thumb would get in the way sometimes of the battery indicator so you wouldn't be able to see it. So now they relocate it to the back and now your hand doesn't block it so you know exactly how much battery you have when you go to use it. Milwaukee has come out with a few accessories for the ratchet. On the original ratchet, people complained that the switch here, the anvil switch here, was unable to be switched if it was in a tight area. So now they offer a raised anvil switch here. So if you'd like it flush or you can have it slightly raised up here where you can get to it and switch the uh, left and right directions. And this is designed to be swapped out with a few basic tools. They also offer a protective boot for the ratchet. The old and the new high speed ratchet have a LED light that does a pretty good job of lighting up the work area right where you're working, right at the tip of the head. Both of the ratchets feature a trigger lock, so if you're using it in a traveling application and it's in your bag and the trigger gets pressed, the battery doesn't keep running, that way you have a full charge battery when you get there. They both feature a paddle style trigger and they also have variable speeds on these triggers. So these ratchets are designed to work on oily, nasty cars like you see the one here. The handles and the grips are all made out of a chemical resistant material that hold up very well. This one here is a couple years old and I've been using it every day for a couple years. And as you can see the handle is still held up. The rubber handle is not peeling off or anything. So the quarter inch model is one of my favorite ones to use. It's especially handy in interior work such as under the dash. All right here I'm doing a cabin air filter replacement on a Mercedes here. And this makes quick and easy work to get these panels off. The longer I'm upside down, the more irritated I get. So this makes the job so much faster to swap these out. Another feature that comes in super handy is their variable speed trigger. So it allows you to screw these uh, little small fasteners in at slow speeds and it allows you to control the torque. So there's 35 foot-pounds of breakaway and tightening torque on this tool. The old version had 40 foot-pounds of torque. To get that faster, higher speeds, they had to reduce the torque. The gearing ratio is different. It makes it faster, but it drops the torque value. Here's another application where I use it a lot. So on most of these vehicles, they have under shields. And just about every repair you're going to do, you need to remove these shields to get access to all the bolts and stuff that are underneath. So this makes quick work of removing those shields. If you're doing this with a hand ratchet, this will take forever. On some of these vehicles, it can have, a, have as many as 20, 30 screws holding these shields down. Another great thing about them is their small size, allowing you to get them in these small crevices to get to fasteners. I'm using a wobbly socket here. You'll also see how much the LED light lights up here so you can see what you're doing. So I tend to use the quarter inch ratchet on all kinds of fasteners that are 13 millimeter and smaller. And you're gonna find a ton of those type of fasteners underneath the hood. Here I am using it to loosen up the hose clamps on this fresh air intake here to remove it so I can get access to a, a sensor in the back. So most of the sensors on today's vehicle are held on with small little fasteners such as 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters. Right here I'm using it to remove a bolt on the throttle body here. So the bolt was tighter than what the ratchet's torque could do. So 
I used it manually to crack the bolt free like a regular ratchet and then you can spin it off. So at 35 foot pounds of breakaway torque, you're gonna run across quite a few fasteners and not gonna break it away with just pulling the trigger. So you're gonna have to push it like a regular ratchet and it works just fine, just like that. Once you got it free, now you can spin the bolt out. The original version has five foot pounds more of breakaway torque which is not a whole lot. So I actually think that having the extra speed is much more valuable than the extra torque, especially since you can use it by hand to crack it free. In this demonstration, I'm gonna show you the difference between the high speed and the original uh, higher torque model, the Gen 1 version. So this is the new high speed one right here in action. The next clip will be the Gen 1s and you'll hear the RPM difference and see how much slower it is removing these type of fasteners. Here is the original version and you can hear and see how much slower this one is. This under shield on this BMW had 24 screws holding it down. So if you were doing this by hand, it would literally take you 20 minutes to get this shield down. So you can see how much time this would save you. If you're doing this in your driveway underneath, it would make it a lot easier on you. If you're doing this as a professional to make money, it's going to make you a lot more productive. This is just one of those tools that you're going to use all day on all kinds of applications, under the hood, under the dash, underneath the vehicle, suspension work, you name it, it has an application for it. I find myself and a lot of other technicians out there find themselves using the quarter inch a lot more than they use the 3 8. The ratchet has just enough power and it's light enough to use all day long. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the new ratchet. What do you think? Do you think it's worth the money or do you think the old version with the higher torque is the better tool? Let me know in the comments. So if you're interested in any of the tools that you see in this video, I will link them up in the description of the video with part numbers or links to the actual product. I'm Brian Nesson from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.